Hey everyone. Uh, so I know I shared a video earlier or a link, should I say, um, in regards to how to catch the sturgeon really easy. Now I don't want to take credit for this method at all. Um, it was King Ryrex, uh, that's his YouTube channel who i found his video, saw this method and was like, holy crap, I have to try this. So I decided to give it a shot and honestly guys this works and i know a few of you were saying that it doesn't work i'm in the northern hemisphere so i don't know if it's different for the southern hemisphere but as you can see in this video by going and clearing this fish out on the island just like in under a minute i've already found two sturgeons now i <laughs> i have what we call anxious fingers so i end up missing a lot of them i would have a lot more if it wasn't for the fact that i didn't accidentally hit a so quickly uh, the, when the video first started, you could see that there were two of them just sitting there waiting to be caught and I messed it up. Um, and you're going to see that I mess it up again sometime throughout this video. Um, I just get like super anxious fingers, but within five minutes, uh, you know, I came across five or six sturgeons just within five minutes. Now these sturgeons are 10,000 bells a piece. So it's really good money. So this is a great way to grind out and get yourself some bells, pay off your home loan, all of that that you need to do. Um, now the island that I'm at, it is a deserted island. Don't do it on your home island. You can, but this would take a whole lot longer. I recommend using a Nook Miles ticket, going to a deserted island. And this island right here is absolutely perfect for what I needed it for. Um, the goal is to clear out all of the fish in the river. But the problem is, is if there's a pond, fish are going to start gathering in the pond. See, there's another sturgeon already. Um, so if like I was on an island like this earlier when I was doing the grinding and I got over 200,000 bells from that grind um, and the island had a little pond to the left of the river and every time that I would clear the river out fish would start spawning in that pond as well and I would have to clear the pond out so it's not just clearing the river you have to clear out a pond if it's there this island only has this one river so it's absolutely perfect if you get an island like this grind those sturgeons out as you can see I already have what is that 12 I think yeah 12 sturgeons there already and I had only been on that island for like maybe half an hour so and that's with me missing like half of them because of my anxious fingers so if you do end up on an island and there's a pond make sure you're clearing that pond out as well and also climbing to the top of the river too you'll see a few times where there's a fish like right now there's a fish up there at the top of the river I'm gonna have to climb up there and make sure I scare him off as well um, I didn't mean to catch him, <laughs> um, but you're going to want to clear them all out. Um, the goal is to find an island like this. This island right here is absolutely perfect because you're going to see again here in like less than a minute, I'm going to have another sturgeon sitting out there. Um, it was just continuous sturgeon after sturgeon. So this is definitely the method that works. Um, and this is how I get it to work. Uh, and clearing them all out is very important. Now keep in mind, every time you go back, sometime there's going to be other fish spawn down there at the bottom. It's not always going to be a sturgeon. So you do have to be patient. Sometimes you just got to clear them out, come back, try again. Um, which I think, nope, there's a sturgeon. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you'll see it happen like once or twice in this video. I'll run down here and there's going to be no sturgeon. But then as you see, like this video has only been like four minutes and I don't know how many I've run into and I messed that one up. See, see what I mean? I'd have so much more if I had better, uh, I guess, uh, reflexes when it comes to that. But this is a super easy method. Again, I give full credit to the, what is it? Ryrex. Let me look his name up again. Uh, King Ryrex on YouTube. He was the one who I found his method and this is just me using it and giving everybody as clear direction as I possibly can. Um, because as you can see, I've got plenty of sturgeon now. So hopefully this works for you. Uh, if not, again, I don't know if Southern Hemisphere is going to be different from Northern Hemisphere. Um, I do believe you guys will start getting the sturgeons in the Southern Hemisphere. But if I'm not mistaken, 
you guys will have it for the next few months. But for us Northern Hemisphere players, the sturgeon is getting ready to leave in the next few days. So if you don't have him in your um, museum or your critter book, you know, and you want to get him, this is definitely the best way to do it. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, just shoot me a PM and I'll be happy to help in any way that I can.